Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and maybe most of you are that have watched my older videos are here today, but I have a lot of exciting news. Mm. We're starting with the fact that maybe you've read the thumbnail. We have a whole 16 new creatures. Wow, I've done a lot since we've been last, the last time we've been here. And you may notice there's also nothing on the map. And I've actually only recently realized this, but there's a setting to turn off real maps and it'll make everything like come to you instead and you all oh, okay we'll dart this as you can see Before we showcase all the new dinosaurs, I would like to catch you up on things I've been doing. So I've joined a new alliance, but what what I'm gonna do right now is yeah. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna leave the alliance and create one. that's good and it will be uh, playing playing with wait playing with Jaden Our description will be hold on I just realized it cost 10,000 coin but I think we can do it so our description will be we we hang out and hold up spelling mistake no we Hang out and have fun. There we go. Create alliance. Oh, huh, that's new. So now you can search up my alliance and we and we can play the game together because in the comments i saw that a lot of you asked to be my friend or join my alliance and guess what i'm happy to so now you can search up our alliance and join and if there are too many of you who want to join i'll probably even make a second alliance not sure how that'll work but yeah Notosaur, and first we'll start with Platosaur. Oh yeah, and I got. If you've seen my recent posts, you'll know that I got Platosaur from the Easel event, mm, and I think it's still active right now. Yeah. So this is the new Easel event. So the one before this, it was for a, uh, uh, it was for Giga Spikasaur and Platosaurus, and, uh, yeah, I got through a lot of it, but if I remember, I didn't get through all of it, and you may have already noticed that I'm very close to ending this, but 
like, I, I lost Rexy, and to be honest, Rexy completely carried the whole thing. Like, I don't think I can do that anymore, but it was fun. So we'll level play the source up right now. And as we're going, I'll discuss some of the things I've had a problem with in Jurassic World alive so far. So one thing I don't understand about what the game's going through right now is that the devs are making comments way too OP. If you've been playing the game recently, you may know that Iguanodon uh, got a complete rework. And I'll sh actually just show you right now because it should be right up here. Yeah, see? So if I remember correctly, it used to be just like a... It used to be like para with like a strike and like an impact, but now it's protect the herd with dodge, increase armor and shield, cleanse wound, and attack, which is normal, and then there's shelter impact, which is priority, cleanse, heal, increase speed, and then damage. Like, that is so ridiculously OP that not even like Rexy, like I have a level 18 Rexy and not even Rexy can one shot unless one shot. You know what I mean. If it's high enough level to at least survive the first hit, like it will survive the second one. So we'll get Platosaurus to level 10 and we'll move on to the other ones. And I have, and I've saved the best for last. I won't tell you what it is, but you may notice on your own. And we also have some Omegas. And you may have also noticed that Toro is level 2, which is different from last episode. I actually got some more from Darting. Mm, like, if we check... And also, if you turn off the real mat, it takes a lot longer to load. So, so there's that if you know. Mm, let's see, if we go to news, you'll see that. So, it says today is Saturday. So, right now, mm, Cartonosaurus, Delta, Dracorex, and Tupendactylus are on with these three Omegas. But the thing is... Like, I've been waiting, like, all day for one to spawn, and the annoying thing is that every time I see an Omega, it's usually at the edge of my range or, like, just outside, which really makes me angry. It really pisses me off. And we'll move on to the, o we'll move on to Cartonosaurus. I got Cartonosaurus darting. May have seen a few right like for that. And it's not just the commons that the devs are making too OP. Like even these like feels a little too OP. Like it's crazy man. Crazy. Oh right. And mmm. I was very surprised when I saw that, like, there's these many, like, undiscovered creatures. Because last time I was on, there was a lot less. And I don't even know how I know this thing exists. Like, skill the sword. Af like, I actually faced it a few times in PvP battles. But, um, I thought it was a hybrid. And the only... The only reason I upgraded Toro off screen, I'll show you what I boosted, is because there, because I have like a daily mission to defeat creatures with Omegas, and with a level one Toro, it was ridiculously hard. Like you couldn't, like with Toro, you can't. If you haven't like upgraded it, you can't even like take out like a level twelve Utah Raptor. Well, and I got Giga Gigantospinosaurus. From uh, Daily Quest, I got Panthera from Darting, and I got Quetzal Gen 2 finally through like a St. Patrick's Incubator. 
So, go to Panthera. This thing, this, this thing has been out for a while. Wow. I've also faced Panthera a lot through, like, the map incubators. Uh, yeah, and for whatever reason, like, mm, the bots you face for the incubators, like, are really dumb. Like, I'm not even kidding, like, like, dumb. Like, absolutely brainless, like. Like, if you have revenge with Panthera, this Panthera, yeah. So, if you have revenge with Panthera, both these attacks are, um, priority, but every time, like, Panthera can kill me with one hit, with one of these, it just goes for a retreat, which does absolutely no damage, even when it has no teammates to swap to. Like, it's crazy. We won't upgrade Panthera because it's, uh, Hyper is probably unique, and I don't and I don't have the th stuff for that. Mm, we'll move on to Quest of Gen 2. This has been out since Dominion. And finally getting it. We still don't have Overwatch in Gen 2. Which, to be honest, I don't really care about. But it will be nice once we have it. And another problem I have is that they keep releasing non-hybrid legendaries and uniques. God. Nobody can get them. Like... Like, seriously, if you're not, like, a master at darting, like, I'm, I myself am already pretty rusty. Wait, where'd Quetzal Gen 2? Right here. So, Quetzal Gen 2, Fierce Devouring Cleanse, Ferocious Shielded Heal, and Resilient Rampage and Run. Okay. The epic Quetzalcoatlus Gen 2 spreads his wings in a whopping 36 feet by catching the right air currents. This toothless pterosaur is capable of flying across continents or even around the world. I wouldn't know why I would do that. I'm no I'm no expert, but um Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't think Yeah, I don't think it did that. I'm not sure though. So Gigas began to spine a sword. It's one of the newer epics, I think. Wow, a 10% critical of oh, 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 sorry. It said 10% there. I was a little scared there for a sec. And again, I don't know where the cunning resilient came from, but that's kind of OP, to be honest. Like... The giant, this giant spine lizard discovered in China is remarkable for the shoulder spines it used to guard. Well, I mean, don't you think shoulder spines is a little problematic? I mean, like, like T-Rex could just come in and just rip it straight off your shoulders. Well, we'll move on to the Omegas now. I got all of these through darting, but I got this guy um, through uh, the past two. So we'll go on. Stegosaurus Umbratus. That's a hard that's a hard thing to say. And I'm not sure if these like enhancement things for Omegas uh, were here for um when I got when I got Toro in my video. Wow, this thing is slow. Hundred hundred only a hundred? Like, like, what's the slowest thing in the game? Hold up. Speed? If we scroll all the way down, the slowest thing in the game used to be a, used to be a Patasaur, but now it's this thing. Jeez, man. Like, why is it that, like, another thing that, so, if we go in here, so, in here, it shows you all the Omegas. So, I know for a fact this, this like, Komodo dragon looking one, this one is called Megalania, and has a 0% crit chance. 
which is kind of crazy. And I'm not sure about the other ones, but yeah, I'm pretty like the lowest I think is like 20% or something or was it, it was the, the lowest is like 5%. So if we go down here, this is where the all the omegas will be. We'll evolve this. Level three, great. And that's as far as you can go. Oh, as a razor back. Mmm. Is it just makes it green? Yeah, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a bug or something. But to be honest, I don't have a problem with it. Where, where if you don't have a skin, but you click on it and exit out, um, it will keep the skin. Even if you go into AR, I'll show you right now. Actually, not. So I think. Okay, you can boost the crit. Okay, I think we'll. Wow, max speed's only 110. Well, I think we'll give it a hun We'll give it 106 speed, and uh, we'll give it. We'll get 425 attack and 1,780 health. Great. Now that thing's actually usable, maybe with commons, we'll scroll all the way up. Like, you know, um, there used to be a time where if I exited out of the collection tab, it would immediately, like, it would just immediately scroll back to the top. I kind of missed that, maybe. I don't know. Okay. So another thing I've noticed is that these level requirements match, like... Oh, yeah. There's also this, like, this tab, which, to be honest, is actually really cool. Because, like, this is the only, like... This is, like, the only background plus, like, model thing... Other than like the news tab. So we'll. And another thing I've noticed is that this thing spawns like crazy. Yeah. This creature is active on map throughout 24 cycle. And that is the Ratifantes. Or Ratif. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, count first. So. Wow. The colors? It looks like Violet Comics. The colors. Offensive stance. Shattering triple jab. Oh my god. All our Titan. Again, with protect the herd like why would you give iguanodon that why so if you've been watching my shorts and my posts you may know you may know i got giga spikosaur and when i looked at giga spikosaur i was very surprised to see that it had a hybrid so that's our first legendary of the day giga spikosaur i didn't even fuse it because I don't have a Margasaur at level 15 yet. Oh, yeah. So, in PvP, uh, actually, like, a couple, like, last week, I was doing a bunch of PvP battles. And, like, I I put out Sagasaurus first, got the first kill, but then Giga Spikasaur came in. Next three matches, like, every single person I fought, like, three times after that. All started with the Giga Spikasaur. It was crazy. And so we have Giga Spikasaur. You may know that I fused for Dilaranosaurus. Finally, it took me forever to get, bleh, to get the Aranosaur. So, Dilaranosaurus is unlocked. And 
I'm not gonna put it on my team. Yeah. But I will definitely need more of this thing to get Dilla Ratchet and I have plenty of Dini But I but I'll probably meet but I'll probably need more of that. So you may also notice that my team's a little bit different. That's because I switched out uh our dinosaurs and Ratchet from my team for Stegodus and uh Alzinosaurus. Mm, because I feel like and Alizinosaurus and Stegodus are the only like options on my team. Actually, maybe Sangnaraptor too, that I'm not completely sure about. But other than that, I feel pretty confident about it. So, yeah. You may also know that I got Scorpius Rex. At this point, I don't even remember how I got Scorpius Rex. Oh, right, I fused for it. So, we got... Scorpius Rex, the one, and Camp, Camp Cretaceous. Yeah. The one that doesn't have a hybrid, and I will um, probably never fuse for it again. Unless it becomes super good or something. I've also decided I'm not gonna put this thing on my team either, but it'll be cute, but it'll be cool to have. And with that, that brings our Legendary count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 legendaries. And I got this thing from Daily Rewards. Um, hold up, let me, uh, so, so where this lucky rewards would be, um, there used to be like a premium rewards. I'm not sure why, but like. I'll show you these ones. So these ones are actually like really good. You just watch because down there I'm like on day twenty three I'm gonna get Diablo Ceratops and Clever Girl, which is two Omegas I do not have. So in about in nine hours it'll give me I think that's like a what is that? That's gonna be like a like a fierce scent and that's gonna be like a Spinosaurus scent. And it's going to be giving me two FA incubators, but these are like the really good ones. Like they're pretty good ones. And as you can see on day 28, it'll give me Indotaurus and Thardolosaur. I'm not sure if this means it'll give me like the whole 250, but I saw in the comments that someone asked me to try and get Indotaurus when I only have like a level 15. Indominus Gen 2. Like, I mean, I guess I have a lot, but. Well, we'll get Octolysis. The bear. The, the deer bear. So it's 2000. I'm actually not sure about this one. Let's see. Nah, I'm not putting it on my team. Because I have a spirit. Great. So, what I am going to put on my team today is Spinoceratops. Because it is a better option than staying with this. And like that, we have another legendary that I did not fuse for. If you like, if you've been watching... That, the XP bar, has been going up like crazy. Like, um, yeah, and then there's this thing. Yeah. That just exists. We have Paramoloch, which I'm also not going to put on my team, which is a reoccurring theme today. But, what I will do is use it in raids, because it's a healer, and... I've actually been doing a couple of raids, and yeah, like, yeah, and the most exciting thing today is Tenado Rex. I got it from the uh, Easel event. I already had fifty, so I went through, I went through like most of the Easel event s soloing with Rexy. Like, if I hadn't lost Rexy on this one, 
Um, I might have been able to get a second one, but, like, like, there's no way I can just, like, solo these last, I can just, like, do these last ones with only, like, Giga Spikasaur. Yeah, I mean, but I got far enough to get to Naruto Rex. When I got it, I was shocked. Like, I wasn't expecting Tanara Rex to be my first unique, but here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. Our first unique. I thought it was going to be Indoraptor, but I was... Did you see that? Did you see the XP bar go up? Oh, of course. I, I was surprised when it had a hybrid, but I, but I think I understand why Easel Event has this thing, play to Spikeosaurus and Tanata Rex, because of course it has a hybrid and it's an Apex. <sighs> play to Rex, and it looks hella goofy. Like another thing about the hybrids recently is that they look nothing like what they're made out of like mm, if we go to paramolog like as a hybrid atrocity like tell like tell me in the comments what part of this looks like Toromolog. like i'm not sure what it actually looks like because i only see purple i'm gonna assume it inherits like the purple like this color from from paramolog but it looks nothing like a hadrosaur doesn't even have like the thing so so i think what i'm going to do is replace allazinosaurus to not rex goodbye and replace stegodus with um spina spinoceratops stegodus is higher level but like it's like i've used stegodus a couple times for pvp it sucked like like how oh my god so we'll be evolving a few things today including rexy we'll be getting we'll be absolutely going on town with rexy so what are we going to do today we're going to upgrade rexy level 19 all the way to but if I upgrade uh, one more time, I will have a level, my my second level 20 on the account with Scorpius Rex Gen 2. I don't even remember how I got this thing. Yeah, I would have a level 20 Rexy, but the problem is, I uh, if I do it, I will be absolutely broke on coin. I, I think 80,000 is pretty good on coin. So, we'll be taking this new team into PvP. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Please respond. No, we're not going to wait here for a minute. Okay, we're going to... Hold up. Let me just... Okay. Don't mind what you just saw. We're going to come back in. Mm. So if you're watching this video... Mm, if you like, just pause the video right now. Go into Jurassic World Alive and join the Alliance. Okay. Are we in a battle or something? Did it did it just reset? Hell nah. Okay. So while we're waiting for this reset, I think I'll just discuss problems I have with Jurassic World Alive. Firstly, one thing I've already mentioned, stop making comments OP. Yeah. Stop making comments OP. Nobody likes it. It sucks. Yeah. Like. Like. Iguanodon. Absolutely unstoppable. Like. I'm pretty sure like. Arena's like down at. 
like Fallen Kingdom don't have metas, but now there is because it's Iguanodon. Because like there's no way, there's no way Iguanodon isn't dominating Fallen Kingdom, and Mount Sibo. Like seriously, seriously, Iguanodon's actually crazy. So we'll, I think we'll enhance these Omegas. The Fukio Raptor has armor. Of course it does. Pounds and bite. So. Another big problem I'm having with this game right now is that they keep adding apexes stop adding apexes nobody can get them nobody cares about them like at this point like at first apexes were like this crazy new fun exciting rarity and then there are just so many it was it was just like uniques all over again like uniques just became like a like a completely normal rarity now apexes feels exactly like that and also omegas they feel very pointless but like overly op at the exact same time like like if you don't have a, that meant that much omega like 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 why like like you don't use them oh okay mm, yeah nobody uses them Unless, unless they have, unless they spent, like, I see another Omega, I see, why are there so many Omegas? Like, like, oh my god, what's a good example? Like, this, uh, this Omega New Year thing. $70 for, like, four, four like, at least minimum four Omegas, like why? What? Like where would you use this? Like where? How? And also, they're make they're making this game like too beneficial to people who spend money, who spend like loads of money on the game. Like I mean, I guess like there are some like there are YouTubers who spend money on the game because it's like literally their job, like. But I'm a free-to-play player. Like, like, look at this. And also, there's like a little glitch with the pass right now, or just my pass, where I collected this emo. But since you interact with it by clicking it and collect it by clicking it, it glitched out, and now it just always says, "You have something here to collect," or, yeah, it's like, yeah. Well, we'll try PvP again. If it doesn't work, I'll be very upset. I've also been facing a lot of uniques recently, and I feel like that's just because the pass just, like, like even with a normal pass, not even just the premium one, like, you can just get a free unique. Okay, here we go. Can we get a new creature? Probably... What the? Okay. Well, anyway, we'll just start with Alaraptor. Yeah, uh, 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 What am I supposed to do with this? Oh my god. Wait, this is... Hell no! Nah. So cool. 
Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, he has just been there. Like, how much is this here? 200% damage there? If it's over 2,000, it's over 2,000. This is, this is absurd. Like, I tell you, this is absolutely absurd. Like, that... How is this real? Because only pay to win players can do this. Like, I mean, seriously. Okay, the game, okay, the game's lagging, okay, okay. Like, I don't, like, we had a fifth, we had like a 50% chance, or maybe like a, like a 75% chance to get like at least Spinoceratops or, or something like and also, according to the tips, when you start the battle, arenas under 10, ten arenas 10 and under are determined by trophy, or by like power and trophies, but clearly not, as I keep getting matched up with like 21 uniques when I don't even have a level 20 on my team. Like, it's crazy. Maybe it's because I have Tanata Rex on my team. There was this one time in like, in like Arena 2 Mount Zebo, where I was playing like Tira. Okay, yes, we got we got both of them. I'm gonna put in Spinosaurus out first. And it's a Thorodinosaur. Oh yeah. Oh this. Oh 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 my God. Hell no. He's seven.
Resistant the sun gets gets the strike off. Oh yeah, gets the win. Ten auto Rex, absolutely. Oh my god. Oh. These new pe these like they didn't even like change PvP battles, but it already feels like a new experience. It's like they completely reworked it, and they kind of have. With the pass, with the pass, like, 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 when I unlock this last tier, I will get a hundred, which would, which would bring my, like, play to Spikasaur to, like, a hundred and fifty-two, but if I got the pass, hold up, like, what, you get Apex DNA from this? No way, right? No, that's only premium. So you can pay twenty-eight dollars for um hundred two hundred for two hundred tour Moloch. And if you did the easel event, play the Spikasaur. And the whole lot and the Steco Stegosaurus and good delicious thing. And you can pay fifty-five dollars for not the pass, but hun what is that? Hundred thousand coin, Notopatosaurus, eighty of that monstrosity. Uh, its skin, uh, an emo, more data, some damage boosts. Uh, Gigas played a Spikosaurus. If you did the Easel event, a lot of Gripolith, um, the Omega. Great, like pay to win, yay! Ugh. This pay to win meta is absolutely killing me. Like, like I could have won a lot more matches. That like I played a lot of matches like since I came back, and I could have won like at least like seventy percent of the ones I lost. Because most of them are because against like pay to win players who got uniques. When they're not supposed to, or they're just, or they just have really great alliances that got, that got like, that got like what? Uh, lag. No, please. That just got like, that just got like like level fourteen incubators. Uh. So, more battles. We'll end the video with trying to do the campaign again because right now I'm stuck on the last stage. Last stage. Like with the dodo boss. Okay, Spinoceratops, great starter. I'm not sure what to think about this. Can't pierce through armor, is not resistant to wound.
what's this? And I'm dead. Maybe I should just go for it. He still has the base of home ready. Ah, I hate this. Like, like he like perfectly knew that Spinosaurus could handle that perfectly. So he just avoided using the basic one. Yeah. Stop making these legendary soul be a special nerf this thing. Nerf that out by by thing. Basic on way too OP. Like 100% chance to dodge 100% of direct damage. Nothing. I tell you nothing. See, it runs out of dodge, but it's just gonna do a basic one again. Because the dodge lasts for two turns, and the cooldown is two, which means. really hard. Common incubator? Like, like, let's see, if we go into the friends tab, don't mind, don't mind all these guys, that most of them aren't online anymore. So recently battled, so I'm not sure when I fought that guy. So this, so this is the guy we just fought. He had an Indoraptor. Why didn't he bring it? Oh, he probably didn't have it or something. So he brought out a smile, his smile cephalus first, level six, and then he brought out his Panthera, and then he brought out Thorodolosaur. Wow. He probably had like a Sarco Sixties and like a. He probably had like a Megalosuchus. I'm not sure why he didn't he didn't I'm not sure why he didn't switch that in. Wow oh, this is natural spot. Do I need it? Oh. I kinda do if I want into Taurus. My darting skills have improved since I I'm not sure. To be honest, I checked my settings recently and noticed that I was set for vet. My drone was set at veteran. Last time I remember, it was at rookie, but it's at veteran now, and I'm used to it. So, yeah, great. So this weekend, um, so yeah, this weekend, uh, we have that. And on Sunday, here's the exciting part. I have a chance at getting skilled thesaurus. That's the main part. And like I can't like there's like I don't have enough DNA like to any to get any of those uniques like first try. Like like at most I can get like 80. Like not even, I couldn't even get Compsor Raptor. Me, like, if I was really lucky, I could get Giganex, but I'm not sure who I'm gonna get though. I think I want Tyranometrodon because, mm, like, like the gaming beaver, which who I love, like, I love watching him, I let I love whirling from him, I love learning from him. 
Toronto Metronon has a hybrid. It's called Schooner Metronon. Like, it has it has an Apex hybrid, which of course it does. Only only the most only the best unique hybrids who everyone needs DNA for and is already maxed out. You pay like hundreds of dollars to get to get all the DNA only for it to get a hybrid and guess what it's basically a paywall so like let's see hmm I have 50 trying to metro on where's scribble is why I'm up where where even is it can't even find it jeez it's probably down here because Gripple is one of the ones you can get from like wait where it wait wait where is it I know it's like up here somewhere because because you can get it from like the campaign what? is it is it just gone or something wait, wait, wait we can probably just go to like we can just go up here go through uh Persosaurus or Perlith. Hold up. Hold up. Like, I can't find anything in here. All right, here. Perlith, Rippolith, 25. 25, Rippolith. Wait, what, what else is in there? I've been looking for so long, I can't even remember what else is on here. And Styracosaurus Lux. I I think I'm in between Trinometrodon, which I have the most of, if I can find it. Um, it's like right here, yeah. I have the most of Trinometrodon, but. Styracosaurus Lux is much rarer as you can't fuse for it. But it might be like a wasted opportunity. So comment if if you have a recommendation for what I should do. Oh yeah. And let's attempt this with Tenado Rex. Great. So the main problem I've ha been having with all powerful Dodo is that it has way too much health at 15,000. And let's see if we can beat it with our new team. So. I can't. Wait, I can't even. Oh my god. I can't even remember what I. What's its immune? What's its immune? Bleed? 65%. My, but still might as well. So this, so the current strat I had is using like flocks to like get a bit of damage in, heals and stuff. Like, thankfully it has no armor. So like, yeah, anything that can deal a whole lot of damage. Um, like there's really nothing that can deal that much damage though. Like. I guess Indominus Rex, but the pro the problem I've had with using Indominus Rex is the fact that this all powerful Dodo, for some reason, like yeah, it it's like it has counter extinction, which complete which keeps increasing its damage. You know what whatever you do, and then because it deals so much damage, it like one shots my Rexy, so I have to start with Rexy. And then, when I do cloak, like revenge cloak even, with nasty return, it just goes straight through, it's crazy. It even has a 50% crit chance. But we'll try anyway. So, we have to start with Rex Heals. So, Fate Sealer is always a light like, But let's see.
course you go for the max hit. <sighs> because since the those dodo facing the no, no, dodo fast, let's just say devastating as I don't know what to do. It removes cloak and dodge, so I will use Indominus, but it also gives it a shield. So I can't do it. It keeps getting a crit. Like, I get it's 50%, but come on. Seriously. Seriously. Like, I've tried using Stegrodus to try and slow it down so that Indominus can get the hit off, but it just doesn't work. It just kills Stegrodus. Or allows it to go for the big hit and launch out Rexy. And, look, and Rexy does, deals like half damage. Like a lot of it comes down to do not do not let Rexy die before it gets off. Oh that okay, that has never happened before. Okay. That's a very big problem. What's the problem? is very difficult. And it's gonna increase attack. It's all dead. Okay. Like, you know, I would I would put in Indominus, but I will put it in Day. That's it for today. Wait. Hold up! You Tyrannus! Full battery, let's go. No, I need to direct it. No. If you've noticed, or ever darted. Or ever darted an Omega yourself, you'll know that you do not get any that you need at least that oh. That you'll know that if you do not get a direct hit, you basically have no, absolutely no chance of like, like, getting anything. Like, yeah, four, four, six, six. So, uh, anyway, like, we'll get Eutyrannus.
everything has a skin. Everything has a skin. What is this? Looks like looks like okay. looks like had looks like it yeah, looks like Power Raptor had some protein. Oh, we can't raise the armor. Damn. We'll, we'll just raise the crit chance to ten percent, and we'll just like like put it into health. Yeah. So I think that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more content, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys later.